Welcome everyone to this short tutorial video where we will show you how to create a simple slider with dynamic content. Let's create a new slider. In this area you can choose from responsive, full width and full screen option. In case of full screen the red line shows the container's dimensions. Now create a responsive slider. Set the width and height options. Let's change to Slides tab and click on the Configure Dynamic Content button. For the first option, select Images from Folder. In Generator settings, choose the folder where your images are. Let's order the files by file name Ascending. For the slide background, use Dynamic Image. As you can see, it appears in the background. Now let's add the new layer and click on HTML tab. On the Slides tab, set Width, Height and the white background. Try to align it to the center and if you would like to be more precise, use the positioning buttons. Here you can see the 50% values. Let's add a new text layer, which will be the title. Let's position it to the center. And customize the font related settings. Ok, let's do the subtitle as well. Pull it under the main title. You can also position the layer with the cursor arrow keys. Let's set a smaller and lighter font. Check the slider preview and fine-tune if necessary. Let's set the transitions. For the white background layer we will use the scale transition. For the title, use a bottom-up animation. Now we will use a trick that the layer appears from a hidden area. Use for this by lines animation and set overflow hidden. Let's copy the title transition settings to the subtitle. This looks great, but it would be better with an inverse animation. So negate the offset Y setting. Also set overflow hidden for this layer. Now the layer animations are in harmony. Now duplicate the slide and as you can see the next image appears in the background. You can duplicate it again for the next image.
Let's check the preview by pressing the space button. As you can see, every slide has a random background transition. In this example, we would like to choose a more simple one. So select one and apply to the others. It looks great, but choose another skin for the slider. On the Appearance tab, choose Outline Skin. Switch off Start and Stop buttons. And also the thumbnail navigations. Save the slider. And let's see the final result. Thanks for watching.